Colonel Whiteacre, master of the sweet science introduction. Have you ever watched a boxer move with such grace and finesse that it seems like poetry in motion? It's a rare sight, reserved for the true legends of the sport. Colonel Whiteacre was one such legend, a man who epitomized the art of boxing. He was not just a boxer. He was a master of the sweet science. The world of boxing has seen countless champions, but there are only a handful who can claim to have mastered the sport to the extent that Whitaker did. In this script, we will take a deep dive into the life and career of Colonel Sweet P. Whitaker, exploring the traits and skills that made him a true virtuoso of the boxing ring. The early years, Colonel Whitaker was born on January 2, 1964, in Norfolk, Virginia. Growing up in a tough neighborhood, he discovered boxing at a young age as a means of self-defense. Little did he know that this would be the beginning of a journey that would transform him into one of the greatest boxers of all time. Whitaker's amateur career was nothing short of spectacular. He won a gold medal at the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics, a feat that is often considered the pinnacle of an amateur boxer's career. But what truly set Whiteacre apart was his exceptional defensive skills. His ill use of movement and uncanny ability to slip punches left opponents bewildered. The art of defense. Colonel Whiteacre was a defensive genius. He had a remarkable ability to make his opponents miss, often referred to as making them look like amateurs. His defensive mastery was the cornerstone of his success in the ring. He would slip, duck, and weave with an elegance that made it seem like he was dancing rather than fighting. But it wasn't just about avoiding punches. It was about countering effectively. Whitaker's shoulder roll defense, a technique where he would use his lead shoulder to deflect punches, became his trademark. It was a move he executed with such precision that it was nearly impossible for his opponents to land clean shots. His footwork, another aspect of his defense, was poetry in motion. He glided around the ring, always in perfect position to launch his own attacks while avoiding danger. The art of offense. While Whitaker was predominantly known for his defensive prowess, he was far from being a one-trick pony. He had an incredible boxing IQ, which allowed him to set traps for his opponents. He was a master of making opponents overcommit and then punishing them with lightning-fast counters. His jab was one of the best in the business. He used it to control the distance and keep his opponents at bay. Whitaker was not a knockout artist, but his ability to break down opponents with a barrage of accurate and well-timed punches was a sight to behold. His combination punching was exceptional, and his ability to switch between orthodox and south post tenses seamlessly added an extra layer of unpredictability to his game. Championship success. Colonel Whitaker's professional career was nothing short of remarkable. He won world titles in four different weight classes. Lightweight, light welterweight, welterweight, and light middleweight. The names of his opponents read like a who's who of boxing. Azuma Delson, Jose Luis Ramirez, Julio Cesar Chavez, and Oscar De La Hoya, to name a few. His victory over Chavez, a fight many consider one of the greatest in the history of boxing, showcased his exceptional skill and heart. Whitaker's championship reigns were not just about winning titles. They were about dominating his weight class. He wasn't satisfied with just winning. He wanted to win in style. His fights were a combination of chess-like strategy and physical poetry. He displayed an artistry that captivated fans and left his opponents frustrated. Legacy and influence. Colonel Whitaker's impact on the sport of boxing extended beyond his remarkable career. He inspired a new generation of fighters to appreciate the sweet science of the sport. Many fighters tried to emulate his defensive style, but few could match his level of mastery. His influence was not just within the boxing ring. It extended to the way people perceived the sport. 
Whitaker made boxing a true art form. He showed that it was not just about brute force and brawling, but a complex, strategic dance that required intellect, skill, and finesse. The Tragic End Tragically, Colonel Whitaker's life took a dark turn outside the ring. He struggled with personal demons and faced legal issues, which marred his post-boxing life. It was a stark contrast to the grace and excellence he displayed in the ring. Nevertheless, his impact on the sport remained undeniable. On July 14, 2019, the boxing world was shocked and saddened to hear of Whitaker's untimely death. He was struck and killed by a car while crossing an intersection in Virginia Beach. The loss of such a legendary figure was a devastating blow to the sport and its fans. Colonel Whitaker, the master of the sweet science, was a true virtuoso in the world of boxing. His unmatched offensive skills, his thoughtful offense, and his championship success have left an indelible mark on the sport. He was not just a boxer. He was a maestro in the ring, a true artist of the sweet science. Whitaker's legacy lives on through the fighters he inspired and the fans he mesmerized. His name will forever be etched in the annals of boxing history as one of the greatest to have ever laced up gloves. As we reflect on the life and career of Colonel Whitaker, we are reminded of the beauty and artistry that can exist within the brutal world of boxing. His mastery of this sweet science serves as an inspiration to all who lace up gloves and step into the ring. If you're a fan of boxing, Take a moment to revisit some of Colonel Whitaker's fights and appreciate the elegance with which he approached the sport. And if you are new to boxing, his story is a testament to the transformative power of dedication and discipline. Thank you for joining us in celebrating the life and career of Colonel Sweet P. Whitaker, the master of the sweet science. And remember, whether you're a fighter or a fan, the legacy of Sweet P lives on teaching us that in the ring, true mastery can become a work of art. If you enjoyed this tribute to Colonel Whitaker and want to explore more stories of legendary boxers and their impact on the sweet science, be sure to subscribe to our channel or website for more fascinating content. And don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments below, sharing your favorite memories of Colonel Whitaker and the impact he had on the world of boxing. Thank you for being part of our community, and we'll see you next time as we continue to explore the world of boxing and its incredible champions.